Hello children. Today in our learning session, we are going to learn about time dilation. Many times we like to share our feelings, our emotions, our plans with others. But at the same time, we feel shy or we feel that we might get judged by people. So what can be done for this? Yes, we can write about our feelings, our emotions, our reactions, our plans on a paper in the form of diary and let us first discuss about our learning objectives after completing this chapter you will be able to learn what a diary entry is learn the format of a diary entry we can learn how to articulate personal experiences and feelings in concise written form of a diary entry Children, as we all know, diary writing is a personal document of an individual to share his or her emotions on daily basis. It can be used to express various sentiments like joy, anger, sadness, excitement, to express one's thoughts, philosophical views, to express one's dreams and hopes. A diary can be whatever you decide and should be a place where you can be honest. That's to free of any judgment or critics. This is our diary entry. I have described the important parts in a person's life. I have written in the first person. I have used time connectors. I have used Objectives to describe feelings and emotions. I have included the date at the beginning. I have included informal words and phrases. I have written mainly in the past tense. I have ended in a reflection. I have written in chronological order. Diary entry is short composition. Though it is written in informal language, but still follows a certain format. This is our diary entry format. A diary entry is always written in first person, usually begins with date and day, which appears in the top left corner. Introductory paragraph or sentence may be a comment on the day, like I'm feeling very excited to. Ideas must be expressed in well thought out paragraph. Description should be brief and vivid. Now, let us have an example. You are going on a school picnic with your classmates and teacher. You are very excited. The night before the trip, you sit down to write your diary. Describe in about 150 words what you have planned for the picnic. And how you hope to enjoy yourself there. You are Jitendra or Cheshuti Mana. This is the diary format. Date, day, sentation. Look at the first sentence. I'm feeling very excited tonight. I'm going on a picnic tomorrow with my classmates. Some of our teachers will also accompany us. We have been planning for this trip ever since our principal gave us permission a month ago. We're going to Nehru Park. It has a large ground where children can run around and play school. I have packed some food items. My mother has made sandwiches and a cake. My friends will also be bringing some food and we shall all share and eat. I'm also carrying my ticket bag with me. We plan to play a match. I feel I just cannot go to sleep tonight because he is very excited. I keep imagining all the fun that we are going to have tomorrow. But my mother came into the room just now and warned me that if I do not go to sleep now, I might fall asleep at the picnic. So, good night. Yes. Now the question arises, why to write or maintain a diet? What is the use of diary writing? Diary writing is an extremely rewarding and beneficial activity. 
writing a diary entry every day helps you to review and reflect upon your day and yourself, making you more happy. You will know yourself better after putting your thoughts and feelings on paper. You will brainstorm new ideas. You are learning how to turn down and celebrate your achievements and small goals. In a way, you are building memories on paper. Now, you can be able to know your priorities in a better way. Many renowned people like Anne Frank, like Anne Mandela, they kept a diary and they recorded their experiences and those are proving a wisdom to the world now. These are the three aspects, language, format, and benefits of diary writing. Language should be informal, it should be simple past tense, present perfect tense also, should be written in first person, the format, date, day, citation, content, name, everything should be written in a proper way to score good marks. As we have discussed the benefits of diary, it helps to organize and express your feelings in a better way. This is your assignment. You are a member of your school co-co team that has been running the goals in the zonal level for the past five years. This year, your school team had to settle for a bronze. Write a diary entry in about 100 to 150 words about your feelings. Single a diary entry is introspective. Rather than just detailing an event or an activity, it presents the thoughts and reactions of the writer. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you.